Hey there folks, got a small on doubles battle for you today, but before I get into it, I just want to give a shout out to anyone who's going to be at VGC Regionals in Philadelphia tomorrow. I'm going to be there too, and I really hope I can uh, meet up with some of you guys. I'll be trying to host an OU Standard Gen 5 tournament, um, so if you're going to be there, I hope to see you. Anyway, this is a battle against ShinyFan127. Um, I think he found me through a battle request I did on Smogon. Uh, anyway, uh, now this is obviously a Trick Room team, and really this team does not do well against Trick Room. Uh, it's actually one of the few things I don't think it does very well against, uh, like the, its big downsides. Anyway, I go ahead and manage to take out his Ludicolo first turn, uh, because my, uh, my Poopa Loop, my Nameless Wine is banded. Uh, if he hadn't been banded, I would not have been able to take him out. I mean, I guess I could have had a nice gem, and that would have also done the job. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, his trick room is up, and I do not want to lose my Fuku Loop right away. Uh, so I go ahead and send out Augustine, who I think should be able to take a hit. Um, because it's not weak to it, and I should be able to hit him back with, you know, a nice earthquake, things like that. Although, of course, it is Cresselia, so he could be going for the skill swap to get uh, Levitate onto that Heatran. Anyway, those were Fire Gem Boosted Eruption, and that is going to take out both of my Pokémon no problem whatsoever. Um, I mean, Fire Gem Boosted Eruption from a full health Heatran is nothing to scoff at, and it really kind of sucks. Uh, but I've lo I really should have tried to save my Tornadus, maybe sacked someone else. Yeah, and so here comes the skill swap. So now, um, as, just as I was saying, now Heatran cannot be hit by a 4x effective Earthquake, and that's really not great for my team. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Poopa Loop here, uh, just right back up because I'm thinking that's really the best I can do. Poopa Loop does have the Thick Fat, which means it's not really weak to uh, fire anymore, and I'm hoping that without that Fire Gem, I maybe can survive an eruption, but I really don't know. He goes ahead and withdraws his uh, Cresselia. I'm not exactly sure why, but whatever. I guess maybe he was predicting the blizzard, but it's not like Barry is going to survive uh, an eruption. I guess maybe Barry could be slower than his Heatran if I was running min speed. I think I actually am running min speed. I think um, I'm not. I'll, I'll put up the information about who would be slow in that situation. Anyway, so here comes the eruption. It's only hitting Poopa Loop because I went ahead one for Protect, and Poopa Loop, being the boss that it is, survives on 56 HP thanks to Thick Fat. And now I'm going to go for a Banded Superpower, and uh, spoiler alert, that is going to go ahead and deliver the KO because Poopa Loop is just so freaking badass. Uh, Adamant Nature, uh, 252 attack, and Banned. Nothing hits harder. Uh, even the, and uh, you know the move set is basically ice shard filler filler filler, but as you're seeing, those filler moves are getting a lot of mileage in this case. He's gonna go ahead and set out his own hip hip out on right here, and I'm thinking I'm actually gonna hope and see if I can last long enough to survive the end of the trick room. In which case, Fubu might actually be nice. Uh, Fubu is running 252 speed in this case. Based on this battle, I've actually made a bunch of changes to this team for the sake of VGC and also. For the sake of just life in general, um, like I, as I'm going to demonstrate, Elkabong does not really do very well with the team. The, the original idea behind this team was that um, the original idea behind this team was that it would be a Weather Ball team. I've got two Pokemon on this team who have Weather Ball, and then I just keep on swapping out my two Weather Inducers to change the type of Weather Ball. But honestly, that doesn't really work particularly well because. Uh, just, you know, it, well, it doesn't. Um, more mostly because ice and rock have a lot of redundant coverage, uh, and there's not too many things that are weak to rock that aren't weak to ice and vice versa. I mean, ground is one of them, but, uh, you know, they're just, there's better off, you're better off with different strategies than that one. So, um, I have revamped this team quite a bit for VGC, and if you're at VGC tomorrow, you may or may not see it. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. So, anyway, his, I'm going to lose both of my Pokemon on this turn. Barry and Elkabong are both going to go down. Elkabong is just way too frail. If I want, if I'm really determined to have both uh, the Sleep Inducer and the Weather Ball, it turns out Venusaur is actually a better option. Venusaur has a bit more bulk, and 
you know, could also be good on a Sun Team if I ran Chlorophyll. I don't know. So anyway, this turn, I believe, uh, the, uh, so if I can survive one more turn, I think the Trick Room will run out. Oh no, the Trick Room already ran out, so that's great. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the T-Bolt against Bronzong. Um, and then I'm going to hope that a Banded Ice, uh, Icicle Crash it can take out Hippowdon. I'm not sure if it can. Hippowdon is physically bulky, but it's also down to not that great HP. And as you see, Hippowdon is taken out. That is now three KOs. All three KOs in this match have been thanks to my adamant um, Mammal Swine. But at this point, the battle's over because he got his Trick Room back up. The only hope I really had was getting the Para and him paralyzing himself. But that would've just been too haxy for words. I mean, I guess I could've also gotten a crit, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, Bronzong gets fully paralyzed here, uh, but it doesn't matter, uh, his Licky Licky is going to go for the explosion, and uh, Fubaloop might have been able to survive that at full health, but at 56 HP, no, it's just not happening. So, and uh, Raikou is extremely frail anyway, so there's no way that it's going to survive that attack, especially boosted by the normal typing. Bronzong's actually almost taken out, that would have been kind of funny, but, uh, you know, this battle... Once I saw that he had Trick Room, this battle was basically lost before it began. Um, great game, Shiny Fan127. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and hopefully see you tomorrow at VGC.